Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another quick tips tutorials brought to you by Photoshop Elements Tutorials Group. And let's jump right into today's poster. I want us to know how to get rid of this bright light back here. So basically, there's lots of different ways to do this. But if you try to use the stamp tool, the problem is, is that this background here is faded right here from the light. It's actually not going to work very well. You want to grab this nice dark area. So if we use the stamp tool and I'm going to grab a nice big stamp like a hundred point and I'm going to grab it right here. I'll do alt click. So if I start copying to try to cover this, what it's going to do is it's going to grab it from here and pan over to the right. It's going to grab this portion here and you'll see it's dark and all of a sudden it gets light again. So that's not going to work very well because it keeps on grabbing the portion up here that we don't want. So let's undo that. And so what you really want to do is to look at the whole totality of the picture to be able to see what your options are. And since we have this whole area that's dark right here, it would behoove us to just continue using that same dark over here on this side. Therefore, we don't even have to worry about this brightness at all. So what I'm going to do is create a new blank layer like there and then I'm going to grab the eyedropper tool I'm going to grab this dark part and just copy it all over through here so with the brush since we have that color chosen let's grab a big brush let's say 300 point see that looks pretty good and we're just going to on this new layer continue that color and you know what it's okay if we get on top of our other subjects a little bit because we're going to cut the portion that we don't want out. So now I just made the whole sky the same color. Let's go ahead and grab that layer and bring the opacity down so we know what we want to cut out from that new mask that we just created. So I'm going to now grab the eraser and make sure it's a soft brush and let's grab something like, I don't know, 21 point. That looks pretty good. And from our new layer that we just created, I'm toggling it on and off, we're going to erase the portions that we don't want to be covered, which is going to be right around our subjects. And once we have that cut out, we're going to bring the opacity back up all the way so that we can see what we want to get rid of. I'm going to turn off the bottom layer here just showing us our new mask and now we want to cut this portion out permanently so with the polygon tool i'm going to just start over here and cut in between the two and once we get towards the end here all we got to do is come across down here like this double click and now we got the marching ants all we have to do is hit delete and now we got rid of all the stuff that we don't want painted black I'm going to hit the control D to deselect I'll turn the bottom back on and there we go we were able to mask off the whole portion of the lights in the background now if we wanted to play around with the corner of his hair here because it's a little bit bright that's easy to do we can always unlock that photo I'd make a copy of this photo and then I can turn off the bottom layer temporarily. Now with the top layer, I'd grab the eraser and it has to be a large soft eraser. Let's try at about 100 point. And I'm just going to softly erase the portion of his hair that's too bright. And that's right around from there to there. And now I can just turn on the background layer again. I can choose that background layer. Go to Enhance Lighting Brightness. Now watch this portion of the hair as I bring the lighting down because <clears throat> basically all we're doing is affecting that portion right there. So I take the brightness and look what happens. I can lighten it or I can darken it. It's easy peasy. And all it's doing is adjusting the whole bottom layer which we're seeing through the little hole. So what I'm going to do is bring it down, then bring the contrast up a little bit right around there. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Well, this is it for this short tutorial. This is Rich calling it quits, saying over and out.